Wonderly's theme for August is study. So I thought I would answer a question that I get a lot from you guys and talk about what it was like to be an English major and whether you should be an English major and the pros and cons of being an English major in college or university. Oh wait, I already made that video. If you want to see that video, click right here to go to that video. Otherwise, stay tuned to this video because in this video, we are going to have story time. That's right, in this video, we are going to be studying this book, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, starring me. You'll get it in a second. This book was actually gifted to me by Wonderly and U Star Novels a few months ago, and I never got the chance to tell you guys about it, so today I'm going to read you an excerpt. But since it's a rather long book, I think I'm going to start at the end. So, spoiler alerts if you've never seen or read The Wizard of Oz ever anywhere, because, uh, I'm reading the end of it. These are the last three pages of The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. Harry the Scarecrow and Hermione the Tin Woodman and Ron the Lion now thanked the Good Witch earnestly for her kindness, and Sarah exclaimed, You certainly are as good as you are beautiful, but you have not yet told me how to get back to Kansas. Your ruby shoes will carry you over the desert, replied Luna. If you had known their power, you could have gone back to your Aunt Em the very first day you came to this country. But then I should not have had my wonderful brains, cried Harry the Scarecrow. I might have passed my whole life in the farmer's cornfield. And I should not have had my lovely heart, said Hermione the Tin Woodman. I might have stood and rusted in the forest till the end of the world. And I should have lived a coward forever, declared Ron the Lion, and no beast in all the forest would have had a good word to say about me. Ron. This is all true, said Sarah, and I am glad I was of use to these good friends. But now that each of them has had what he has most desired, and each is happy in having a kingdom to rule besides, I think I should like to go back to Kansas. The ruby shoes, said the good witch, have wonderful powers, and one of the most curious things about them is that they can carry you to any place in the world in three steps, and each step will be made in the wink of an eye. All you have to do is knock the heels together three times and command the shoes to carry you wherever you wish to go. If that is so, said Sarah joyfully, I will ask them to carry me back to Kansas at once. She threw her arms around Ron the lion's neck and kissed him, patting his big head tenderly. Then she kissed Hermione, the tin woodman, who was weeping in a way most dangerous to her joints. But she hugged the soft, stuffed body of Harry the Scarecrow in her arms instead of kissing his painted face and found she was crying herself at the sorrowful parting from her loved comrades. Luna the Good stepped down from her ruby throne to give the little girl a goodbye kiss and Sarah thanked her for all her kindness she had shown to her friends and herself. Sarah now took Sarah's laptop up solemnly in her arms and having said one last goodbye, she clapped the heels of her shoes together three times saying, take me home to Aunt DM. And yeah, you pretty much know what happens after that, right? You guys, Ron and Hermione kiss me in this book. You Star Novels is a company where you can get books made to have you and your favorite people in them. Of course, for me, my favorite people are fictional people, but you know, you, you get the idea. So in mine, I'm Dorothy, my laptop is Toto, Harry is the Scarecrow, Hermione is the Tin Woodman, Ron is the Cowardly Lion, Voldemort is the Wicked Witch of the West, and Luna is the Good Witch of the South. So thank you Wonderly and You Star Novels for giving me this book. I had a lot of fun reading it. If you guys are interested in getting one of these books for yourself or maybe one of your friends, it would make a really cute gift, I think. I'll leave the link in the description below. This is only the third year that I'm not going back to school in September and it feels really weird, but for those of you who are, good luck, study hard, and I will see you very soon. Bye.